Thatgame.com, all the game you want and then some. You know, Microsoft, I covered for you a lot every day in every news I made. I try to be as neutral as pos possible. I never said PS4 is better than Xbox One. I never said Xbox One is better than PS4. But I'm starting to hear a lot of news that make me so freaking angry because it's freaking next gen. You should innovate. When looking at current gen console, at last gen console, sorry, and comparing them to next gen consoles, you should have a real gap between them. You should really see a big difference. And this is how I justify the money invested in a new console. So you guys, know, you'll know in a second why I'm so mad about this. PS4 runs games at 1080p and 60 frames per second. Not all of them, but a good uh, majority of them. And Xbox One had some troubles. We had a lot of games with frame rate problems. I played Dead Rising 3, it has some real problems. They also updated the game with a 15 gigabytes update, and I think that is solved now. But when I played it, it was trash frame rate, frame rate wise. And that's not cool because it's not all about hardware, but when you develop games and they're not bringing us an A game, they're not giving us the experience we need to have in that game, it's not cool. For me, it's not cool and you're doing something wrong. So, an industry insider under the name of Pete Dodd uh, revealed today via Twitter that we're not going to be seeing 1080p and 60 frames per second on Xbox One anytime soon because the console hardware wise is not capable of doing this and I can't believe I'm saying this it's a rumor of course it's nothing 100% sure but if you ask, ask Microsoft they'll never tell you the truth you'll know that you will never find out the real thing from them so it's up to insiders to developers to re uh, reveal us things like that because Microsoft will never tell us the truth. They're always going to to lie about it. They lied about how many consoles they sold. And I'm sure they're going to lie about this too. I'm all about exclusives. I love games that are on Xbox One and they're not on PlayStation 4. And uh, same goes with the PS4. But when you bring me 720p games with 30 frames per second in 2014 as, as you brought on uh, Xbox 360, it's a shame. It's a shame because I paid a lot for this console. I paid more on this console than I paid on my PlayStation 4. And I should be having a better experience. If you think about money and you have to justify what you're buying and you have to justify every cent and every penny, every dollar you're, you're going to spend on that console, Microsoft, the Xbox One is not worth it. I'm keeping my Kinect in a drawer. I'm keeping my Kinect in a drawer. I'm not using it. My console, okay, it has some good games, some good ideas, some concepts that I like. But how the fuck can I play Dead Rising when it has under 30 frames per second? Seriously? I'm going to pay more than $60 for that game because, I don't know, many of you live in the US, but I don't live in the US and this means that I get games way more expensive because the console is not really available in my country. I had to import this bad boy and I paid more than the usual price for it. So I paid even more just to get a nice experience from Microsoft and I'm not getting it. I'm, I sure hope so, this is only false, but there are a lot of things that indicate this is actually true. Uh, let me remind you of Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. The game was definitive on one edition and it was the same on the other uh, edition. And with edition I mean consoles. So PS4 had 1080p and uh, 60 frames per second. Xbox One had 1080p and an average of 30 uh, frames per second. It means that it could have even less than, than that 30 frames per second. So I don't know you, about you guys, but UI, when it comes to Xbox One, is trash. 
you don't have a lot of things on that console that are needed like uh, battery status I want to know how much I filled off my hard drive I don't know there are a lot of things that, that need to be changed they need to even even though they don't have the hardware they need to develop games to run perfectly not 1080p but 720p and 60 frames per second because I can't go under 30 frames per second because it's not playable and I'm not going to play games on my console like on an older uh, PC so I don't know I don't know what to say about this sorry for ranting uh, I love Xbox one I love if they would have done something better with it because as of now it's not worth the money so I don't know guys I'm hoping I will not receive a lot of hate because I made this video but thank you for watching and this is this was only my opinion so bear with me see ya